Sandra B. and this is Ready Action, a show about acting for income and entertainment. Thank you for tuning in today to learn about how to become an actor. We're going to talk today about making a decision. Also about getting to know the business and learning your craft. Let's first talk about making a decision. If you've chosen to start a career in acting, I want to be the first to congratulate you. I decided to host this show to put everything into perspective. My hope is that I can help to eliminate any frustrations that are commonplace for individuals who start an acting career um, and, and to help them to know the basics. I made a lot of mistakes earlier in my career because I did not have anyone, not one person to help me or to guide my path. I see some people making some of the same mistakes and for that reason I would like to share a lot of what I have learned in my past 25 years in the business. One common mistake is that actors don't take the correct first steps to learn their craft. If you want to be an actor, you must take the right first steps. They want it now, now, now. Everything now. I want to be a star. That would be nice, but that's not the reality of this business. They want to be a star, but don't want to put the time in or the work or the effort into it. They jump into auditions without knowing proper technique. They attempt to get an agent without knowing proper etiquette or training. And if they are lucky enough to get a meeting with an agent, they could leave extremely embarrassed because they didn't know what to do or what to expect or how to prepare for that meeting. Many people pay a lot of money or maybe not even enough for the pictures that they're supposed to take, but the pictures don't reflect their true selves or what they need to as a headshot. Some people follow their own direction or that of someone that really doesn't know the business and they fail and become discouraged about the business and walk away with a bruised ego, blaming everyone but themselves for their failures. Thousands begin careers in acting and soon after walk away from the business because they didn't do their research before jumping in. I witnessed maybe hundreds of individuals who were excited and thought of being a star and making the big bucks really quick. But after a few months of getting just rejection after rejection, they quickly changed their minds and left the business. If you've made a decision that acting is definitely what you want to do, there are some important things that an actor needs to know. Here are some of the great tips that I have come up with to get you started. Okay. The first thing everyone should do is to ask yourself, why do I want to become an actor? Your answer should help direct your path. Some people get into acting just for the fun of it. And some people want to make a career of it. And they want to take this very seriously. While the majority of us want to be working actors, making good money to be recognizable and respected for our work, and even maybe even earn a star on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> For those people, our direction must be very aggressive and precise. So that leads me to the second part of this, getting to know the business and learning your craft. Acting, contrary to your belief or maybe not your belief, acting is hard work. So it's important to know what you're getting into before pursuing an acting career. Make sure that you know the business and really want to be an actor and are not just looking to be famous. There are many easier ways to become famous than by acting. I love being an actor. This is a very exciting business, but it's not an easy business and the competition is fierce. Acting is like anything else in life. If you're not putting 100% into it, you're not going to get 100% back. One may ask, how do I get to know the business? As you're making your decision on the type of commitment you will put into acting and learning your craft, 
I've compiled a short list of things that will help. Number one, purchase books on acting. Books provide an insight, the hands-on that many actors face along their journey. I have learned some valuable information in books, as I know you will also. At the end of this, I will provide a list of the books that I recommend, about 11 books that I recommend, so stick around. Number two, read acting publications such as Backstage and Hollywood Reporter and, and many others in your local area to get to know what's going on in the acting world. There are some wonderful how-to-do articles in both publications. The more knowledge you gain about the business, it will make you a sharper tool in the box and the information could just give you the edge over other actors. So information is really important. And number three, find and study information about the actors and the characters that are your type. For instance, if you're a funny person by nature, you want to investigate funny actors. If you want to do t action type roles, um, really aggressive roles, check out women who play in those roles. Watch them. Watch their movies. Study their delivery, their gestures, their onstage movements, which is blocking, and read on them. Look and see what they study. A lot of them take karate, you know, so you need to learn what they did. Okay, now for the list of books that I have for you. Wonderful books. One is called The Audition by Michael Shirtleft. It's considered by some to be the Bible for aspiring actors. For beginning actors, this book is a great start. It covers everything you will need to know to get the part. The next book. An Actor's Handbook by Konstantin Stanislavski. It covers more than 150 key concepts. Among them is improvisation, external technique, magic if, imaginary objects, discipline, and what's my system. Um, and it also covers stage fright, so really good book. The next one is Meisner on Acting by Stanford Meisner. This book gives it to you straight and how to live faithfully in the moment. And then we have Acting as a Business Strategy for Success by Brian O'Neill. This is an indispensable tool for working and aspiring actors, avoiding the usual or unusual advice about persistence and luck. Brian O'Neill provides clear-cut guidance that will give actors a solid knowledge of the business behind the art. Wonderful tool. And then we have How to Craft a Winning Theatrical Resume. Boy, do we need that one. The most effective ways to join the performers' unions, all of the good stuff. It talks about tactics and getting an agent, strategies for finding work in the theater, daytime television and independent films. It talks about navigating the different customs and cultures in New York and Los Angeles. Wow, that's a great book. Um, and then we have How to Sell Yourself as an Actor by Kay Callen. One of my favorites. It's an older book, but I love it. It addresses the frustrating problem of what to do with the craft after you've learned it. Then we have Power of the Actor by Chublik. It's the Chublik Technique by Ivana Chublik. It's a 12-step acting technique that will take you from script to a living, breathing, dynamic character. Wonderful book. And then there's An Actor Prepares by Konstantin Stanislavs. Again, wonderful um, author. The book helps you to discover what is now called method acting. So you definitely want to get that book. And then there's The Secret of Successful Actors by Sue Porter Henderson. It offers hundreds of valuable tips, ideas, and resources for the beginning actor and those who may need a refresher. You definitely want to get that book. And then we have Improvisation for the Theater by Viola Spolin. It's a series of acting exercises and theater games to free the actor's creativity, allowing you to play beyond the scene. 
Many modern improv groups such as Second City utilize Spolin's technique and you really need to get that book if you're interested in theater. And last, but definitely not least, is Actions, the Actor's Thesaurus by Marion Calderon. So that's it for today's show. Come back for the next show. Our show topics will be, okay, now I've made my decision to be an actor, what's next? <laughs> and then, career or hobby? The business of acting. We're going to talk about the business of acting and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. So come back to the next show. Thank you for coming. Yeah.